in the impression of a guardianship and restoration of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. The Qatar regime sought to impose itself on the scene in this country through the Taliban terrorist movement again. These efforts fed the anger of Kapul government, which accused the Juhareng of not respecting the will and decision of the Afghan people. The government of Afghanistan announced that Qatar cancelled the conference of dialogue and reconciliation with the Taliban, following Kapul rejection of an unbalanced list of invites. Hamarin sought to impose the place of the previously declared delegation, noting that the rulers of Doha do not respect the will and decision of the people. The Afghan presidency explained in a statement that while the delegation was not preparing for the conference, we were surprised to send Qatar a new list that does not take into account the popular balances, which does not respect national will and decisions, and is unacceptable to the Afghan people. Both Qatar and Taliban hope to recognize the movement office in Doha, the office named the Emirate of Afghanistan, a new guide to the real agenda that the Hamarin organization is trying to pass, starting with legitimizing the terrorist organization and their elements. The Doha Ring has put its hand in the hand of Taliban to force the Kapul government to implement the demands of the terrorist movement and to implement the malicious scheme of Hamarin to escalate again to power in Afghanistan. The relationship between the Hamarin and the various extremist organizations in the world, from the Muslim Brotherhood to the Qaeda organization, is no longer hidden. The loss of these relations, in which the M-way terrorism was revealed, with the media cooperation with the Afghan Taliban, Doha, and in Paris, many of the negotiations that brought together its leaders with U.S. officials prompting many countries in the Arab world to boycott it, which emerged in the province of the four countries, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, the UAE, and Bahrain.